Welcome back to Mini Lessons with Miss H. And today we're doing SAT prep packet page, I mean story, water. So, remember what we always do. We survey the text, we write our prediction, and we annotate the text. Then, we dissect the questions, and we look for text evidence to support our answers. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the title... Then we're going to look at the, that looks like a photograph. And then I want you to write your own prediction. So I'm going to give you one minute to write your own prediction. Ready, set, predict. My prediction orally which means I'm not gonna write it down I predict this is going to be about water the types of water there are like salt water fresh water ocean water river water water we drink something like that okay so I already did the survey the text we already predicted now we're gonna annotate the text here we go lakes streams ponds rivers oceans Hmm, so these are the types. Oh, before we start, do not forget to put your name in today's date, please, because this will be graded as soon as we come back to school, all right? Let's go, let's start all over to annotate the text. Lakes, streams, ponds, rivers, and oceans. Water is everywhere. Did you know that there is more water than land on Earth? There are two kinds of water. <sighs> So they're trying to teach us about water. There's two different kinds. One is fresh water, like the water in rivers, lakes, and streams. Rain and snow are also forms of fresh water. People, plants, and most animals need this fresh water to live. So that's what we drink or what we can drink, right? So where do you find fresh water? This, let's look at the settings. Rivers, lakes streams, rain, snow. Who needs it? People, plants, and most animals. Okay? We need it to live. The other kind of water is salt water. Salt water. Like the water found in the ocean. People should not drink the water found in oceans. It will make us very sick. Yucky. Most sea animals, however, need the salt water. Fresh water will make them sick. Oh my God. How ironic. Without water, there would be no life on earth. Oh my God. Water is very important for us to live. All right. Number one. Snow becomes fresh water when it... A, melts in a stream. B, falls in the ocean. C, is found near a river. Hmm. Oh, D, drifts near a lake. So let's look for the word snow. Because I don't remember reading this question. But I will tell you something about the SAT. Sometimes they throw questions in there like that for you to, for us to see. If you go back in the story to try to figure out the answer. So this is not 
uh, can I find the answer in the in the text? We have to draw an inference and draw a conclusion. So we have to guess the answer based on evidence in the story. So here's snow. Rain and snow are also forms of fresh water. Hmm. So falls the snow fall in the ocean? Is it near a river? Does it drift near a lake? Based on this, I think the best answer is melts in a stream because snow becomes water once it melts. So that's what I think the answer is. That's the inference I have to draw to create, to pick the right answer, okay? Number two, why shouldn't people drink salt water? <laughs> so let's go to look for the words. This They want a key detail. Hello, boo-boo. They want a key detail. People, characters, drink salt water. So now let's go back in the story. Wait, let's read the answers first. Salt water is full of sea animals. <laughs> okay. Okay, Charlie. Salt water will probably make us sick. That sounds like a good answer. Salt water should be safe for sea animals. That kind of sounds like a good answer too, but we got to always go back in the story and make sure. Salt water is needed to water plants. Wait a minute. I didn't even see that. But let's go back in the story and make sure. Why shouldn't people drink salt water? Hmm. Right here. The other kind of water is salt water, like the water found in the ocean. People should not drink the water found in the ocean. It will make us very sick. Oh, and then here, number one. So now you're going to pick your which one of these answers fits best with this text evidence, okay? You have one minute to do this. Ready, set. detail true so it's in the text not made up you didn't make it up okay a people can drink ocean water oh my god b sea animals can drink pond water jeez louise people see <laughs> people can drink fresh water d animals can drink lake water now you need to go back in the story and find which of these key details has been said in the text, okay? So I'm gonna give you one minute to do that. Ready, set, go.
hope you picked the right answer. I hope you went back in the story and found your answer. And even if you remembered the answer, I really do expect you to go back with a highlighter and annotate the answer to justify your answer in the story. Okay? Until next time. Bye!